All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Red Dead 2. How are you? I'm good. We're celebrating. Because we got Jack back. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Ay, 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 ay. Canta los colores, porque cantando se alegra el cielito lindo de los corazones. Ese lunar que tiene cielito Can't speak a lick of Spanish, but I just like it. I just like the song. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. It's just great to see something of quality like this. It's so great. Good job, Javier. Night, Jack. Are you just gonna sit on the floor? Okay. Uh, let's get something to drink. Hey. Oh, you must be dang freezing. How are you holding up? Hell, I'm doing real good. And we'll be unavailable for activities for right now. Yeah, obviously. Unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur. Have a little faith. All right, just a little. I feel like I can breathe again. Oh, no. oh God, I just threw it at him. <laughs> I'm sorry if I was... Well, I was just worried sick. I know. It's okay. Eat that all up now, Jack. Okay, Mama. Sorry, it ain't spaghetti. Get some drinks down, you. Live a little. I might have a couple. This hey, you two party. doing? Hi. Hello, Arthur. All right, all Our right. Thanks. Can't complain. Good for you. All right, then. How are you? Doing well. Ask spirit. All right, then. I bet. All right. Hey, ladies. Um, hey, folks. Hello. Hey, Arthur. How's it all going? Good, thanks. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay, then. Are there? All right. Gonna settle down for some sleepy time. Oh, we cleaned up pretty good, huh? It's 3 a.m. Time for bed, Arthur. Nope, nope. Give it a little bit of time. They, excuse me, what song are they singing?
got a letter. Um, I, can I can I pick up the letter? Fast travel. I want to fast travel. I want to pick up the letter. It is. Yeah, it, it's right there. Uh, uh, wait. There we go. No. I can't pick up the letter. Fuck. No, I don't want to. Can I? There we go. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Oh, that's good. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change? And be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment. Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary. So she wants her help again, okay. Might be able to pull it off. Damn, my head don't hurt. Yeah, Morning shouldn't have drank so much. Hey, Leech, I'm working on something. All right, sounds good. Always good to see you. What are you wearing? You're gonna catch a chill. Clothes. Boy behaving himself? For the most part. Okay, I'll leave you two to are it you then. Doing the right thing by yeah, boy goodbye. Here. All right. So we got two main missions here. Let's see, Mary, uh, Hosea. I'm assuming this is Mary Beth. Yep, I got, okay, we got a, got that from Strauss. Got bounties and roads. And Mary and bounties in town. So let us, let's go speak to Strauss first. Just to, you know, get that little conversation out the way. Where is he at? All the way over here? What's he doing secluding himself out here for? I mean, he's got his own house. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? We're trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but uh, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, L.G. Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. They're a union built on that, you know. Okay. All right, so one debt to collect. That's fine. 
But I think what the hell are you doing just lurking out here, Micah? Micah. Think I might still be drunk. Working hard as ever? I make the money, not wash the clothes. Well, right. get out there and make some then, you bastard. What are you talking about now? All right, let's see. Who do we want to talk to first? And yeah, Mary Beth is close, so let's see what she needs. Come here. Hey, boy. Hello, boy. Come here, let me pat your head. Let me give you head pats. No? Okay. Pearson? You been on the rum again? Hello there, Mary Beth. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Her... I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Oh shit, yeah. Susan's mad. All right, head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. Of course they did. You know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. I get you. You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. <laughs> about all of you fools. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I mean, it was just I last think night. There's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Come, sir. We're lost in a new. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that, but you don't mean nothing by it. I said... You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. Damn, Susan. Damn, 
empty. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. Oh, boy. All right. I got you. Don't let him get away. I missed him. Come on, boy. I promise you don't want a war with me. Come here. That's it. Now make sure you tie him up real good. So we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. All right. Come on, Foreman. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. Go to hell. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Wow. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? <laughs> she killed my coward. <laughs> Get off me! She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that. Shut the hell up. All right, all right, damn it. If I had a choice, I'd string you up, but it's not right. my choice. Here's your man. Bring him here. On the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. Come on, man. So he's still alive, Dan? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History 
is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. The lady wants you to live. Let's get you home. Get out of here. Let's get out of here. Oh, what's this? Gentlemen, what the hell are y'all doing? What you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And I'll right. tell you, you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. He went for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty-faced streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut My up. My dear lord. Was this Yarrow? Why'd I go all the way to that one? There was one literally in front of me. Let's take a look in town. Probably over here at the train station is a good first stop. Oh god, oh god! Hello there. Oh. Are there any really? None? Sir, good morning. Inspect. So eighty dollars for the two of them. Move out the darn way. What? Head into town a little bit. friend but uh hey, what you doing here just visiting old friends i guess well you better get out of here there's a there's a bunch of government agents i met asking about you all across town yeah oh, there's shit. a bunch of bounty hunters too i think oh uh, shit so. yeah yeah but <laughs> you don't seem too scared yes not well they seem pretty mad What'd you do? Nothing good. <laughs> well, you better get out of here. <laughs> All right. I 
I mean, I was just in town a little bit. Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? <coughs> you won't grow, you bastard! God damn. Stop picking fights with people. Could have stood there a little bit longer oh, if you just no moved. More. Three out of five. Need two more. Hello. Hello, mister. Hey, stupid! Mr. Mr. Black, I Mr. need Black. that poster. There's been a recall. Mm -hmm. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own. Excuse me, sir. Was I not sufficiently clear with you, mister? The hell you doing? Ah! Heavens above! Ah, oh, shit. Where's my hat? Hold on. No, don't pick him up, god damn it. did is get in the fist fight. Oh shit, this is the wrong hat. He's just investigating. There we go. And now we ride back into town. See if we can find one more poster. It was one or two more. I forgot what number we were at. Is that, is that one? No, that's a turn left sign. Something wrong or what? The hell's got your dand up? Look out! Okay. That's all of them. Now where are they at? Wait, does uh does that mean, yes, that's them. Train. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, friend. Hello. I was in town. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It was a murder? It was self-defense. And you? Killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. 
Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. Not a problem. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first. See if anyone's on our trail. Clearly hesitating to get away from each other. They like each other. Come on, boy. Let me brush you up. Let's go into town and grab one of the bounty posters. Oh, yeah, I guess the sheriff's office is entirely shot up and dead, so it makes sense that they're uh, posted into the train station. Johnson, $25. Thinking of going after them, are you? I wager you're more than up to it. I happen to know that feller is farming the swamp, or trying to, up by Siltwater Strand. He's a bad egg. Fancy that. I seen him coming and going here, and I never had an inkling. Mark Johnson, the bounty. What I need to know. You gotta be wary of this one? Just the other day, he took his son out on the rails. He seemed nice enough. Seemed, when quite clearly, he is not. Understood. It can be confusing. Anything else about this old bounty you got, uh, Johnson? I don't know what to tell you. It's a funny one. Man looks to have put roots down, worked hard, is part of the community. Almost. You never can know a person. And I say that as a married man. Right. Guess they ain't gonna turn themselves in. Small detail, but they need that one alive. All right, thank you, Alden. All right, let's bring him in. Where is he? All the way up towards the state line. Yeah, that don't surprise me none. How do you do, sir? Let's go, boy. Hello. You get out of the way. Partner, this seems like a decent time. Well, good luck to you. All right, let's grab the weapons. What's it be? Ain't been too many Federals coming through. But I got the horse. <laughs> There we go, We're back in full speed. I don't know why yep. the horse was slowing down. Morgan. Save the folks need saving. I mean, imagine that. Some you about to be shot in the back by some raiders. A guy just runs up with a golden uh, rifle on horseback, shoots the two, doesn't say a word and just leaves. Be absolutely insane, and not a single person would believe you. No tracks. We ain't going till you get this right. I can't, Daddy. Please let him in. He's been trying for hours. He ain't no kind of man. Hello, <gasps> ladies and gentlemen. Come to mama, boy. 
Don't shoot. I'm an arm. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Go ahead. Make it quick. You're a forgiving man. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? Don't. Don't. I ain't gonna problem. fight you in front of my family. Okay? Pick you up. You'll be all right, Mr. Johnson. They wanted you alive, so they're either going to hang you this or keep you in bumpy. prison. Son of a bitch. Couple of boys for me. Oh, no. Now, what did that really do? More games, all right. I think that's all your friends, ain't it? You shouldn't have done that. And now look what's happened. Dead because of you. Damn it. I knew you was being quiet. Hold on. Won't be long to wearing roads. And he's still quiet, because now he knows he has no hope. Just how I like him. This is Rhodes. You're almost shot of him. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. I'm sure they will. Get you to your new bed. Hello, hello, hello. Found this fella on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't. But those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. My money? That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. You tell yourself that, Hunter. You ain't wider than white. I hope your past catches up with you. 
If I didn't, somebody else would have taken it. We know that. Alright, so where to... Yeah, might as well collect, uh, collect a debt. Since we're going this way, why not check on the rubble? Why on earth? Oh my god! I did not do that on purpose. How good is the deal? Yo! Might as well take it. I'm so glad that uh, animals don't go flying off the back of your horse like, uh, when you jump over something. Oh boy. We just leveled the place, didn't we? Catherine Braithwaite. Oh my god. Got a brooch. Anything of value in the rubble? got to do is ride south and we can make a full loop back down to camp. This is a hundred percent perfect deer, and I want everything from it. The meat, the pelt, the hooves, the, uh, no, it's a female, so no antlers, but, you know, still. Yeah. right around. Any footprints? Is he by the coast? He... Strauss said he was a fisherman. Oh, there he is asleep. Oh my hey. god, are you kidding me? Damn good reason for... 
being on my property, mister. Yes, I do. I'm here to collect some debts. You gonna explain? Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. Good. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. I'm good. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. You take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on. Let's get us that death. Someone's here, boy. Oh. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Don't do it. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Now, where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. Shouldn't have turned your back on me, you parasite. I should have the Hey, and that's it. Sorted biscuits. Gin, no. None on the table. Anything in the drawers? here I don't need the shotgun oh no I didn't mean to do that shit there we go can't see a thing Some money. This is some in my foot locker. I can't. I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that Ooh. lucky? All right. I'll take everything else I can that's valuable. Can't take anything in there. Thank you, son. I think I know the sum. And that's your cover. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself. That it? That all? Snake oil, rifle cartridges. All right, we're done here. Oh, nope, this is the front door.
Good boy. Let's go back to camp. Yeah. Here comes the big bats. Get him for the dick. Oh, son of a bitch. It was a good time to do it too, didn't it? Right, let's get this thing home. Take a nap. Wait, the pe oh, a deteriorated shit. Wait, what's this? Uncle wants to do some rustling? Wait, where's Bill? I'm sure whatever he wants can wait till morning. Hi there. Let's bunker down for the night. Ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we return, we're going to see what Jose is up to and probably see some other stuff out in town. But I thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I'll be back in a moment. Mm -hmm.